round three of the cell phone versus drunk driving test. And Carrie and Adam are uh, fueled up and ready to go. They've already passed the control run, but failed the course while talking on the phone. Now they've consumed just enough alcohol, and on empty stomachs no less, to remain below the legal limit while driving the course a third time. Six five. Six five. Oh my god, you're getting in my car? <laughs> And once again, the instructor puts his life on the line to grade their performances. Being the fact that we're only going to potentially knock over a few cones, I'm just fine. Let's hope Carrie's driving isn't that bad. And go. First obstacle, the brake test. Uh, that's a stop sign, Carrie. Slow down. Oh. Stop. We did go past the stop sign here right off the bat by about four or five feet, so we ended up in the crosswalk. Not a promising start, and parallel parking is up next. Actually, I gave her the parking. It was it was one of her best efforts. It was it was marginally good. Here comes the road timing test. Remember, it's got to be done in 45 seconds. Uh oh, 30 seconds. That's going to cost you. Hope you do better on the accident avoidance test. We pretty much killed a couple cones over in the accident avoidance. Or maybe not. I also think I took out a few cones. A few cones? You blew away half the obstacles, Carrie. That's what's known as a failure. Can we stop using the word failure and just be like, I didn't succeed? I am feeling a little bit um, tired and tipsy, and I'm definitely done with this experiment because I don't usually drink beers during the day in the sun. So all I want to do is go to sleep now and maybe eat something. No, I'm done with my Go ahead, Carrie. Indulge. You've earned it. I'm going to eat pizza in a minute. That's all I really care about. You'll get your reward soon enough, yeah, Adam. <laughs> and go. Assuming you can ever park. Well, we saw the parking, so that was a little off. There was a couple times that I reminded him to look both ways, and I gave him kind of a half fail on that. He's coming down the home stretch, just one challenge left. The only thing with the accident avoidance, he did do it, but he kind of slowed down through the whole thing. It's not looking good, Adam. Like Carrie, you failed nearly half the course. Two and a half fails, I guess. So are you just like kind of suck? Just I, I, I don't kind of suck. I mean, I was definitely impaired enough that, you know, it's the sort of impaired you want to keep people off the road at that level. That's right. Not only is drinking and driving not smart, it's illegal and very dangerous. So, what's the final word? Clearly the results show that talking on the cell phone or driving is potentially as dangerous as driving drunk. I mean, we failed both the cell phone and the drunk driving tests, uh, but we failed the cell phone test by a much bigger margin. However, all that being said, I still think that you can always put down the cell phone if something's happening that you've got to deal with. You can't exactly, so at least I can't exactly just stop being drunk. So what do you reckon? Confirmed, busted, or plausible? It's absolutely confirmed. I agree. Confirmed. I'm a little shocked. <laughs> Mythbust Air is...